Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about how to multiply a fraction. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem here, multiply and write answer in simplified form. We have two parts, A, 1 7th times 56, and B, 12 fifths times a negative 20, X. Let's start with part A. 1 7th times a 56. Well, 56 is really a fraction, or we can write it as a fraction. If we rewrite this as 1 7th times a 56 over 1. Now our rules still apply. Multiply across the numerator and across the denominator. 1 times 56 is a 56. 7 times 1 is a 7. Now 56 divided by 7 is an 8. That came out pretty easy. And so 1 7th times a 56 is the same thing as 56 divided by 7, think about it, is 8. Now part B, 12 fifths times a negative 20x, right there. Well negative 20x, like before, is negative 20x over 1, so let's rewrite that. We have 12 fifths times a negative 20x over 1. Now, let's go rewrite this to all to be one fraction. We can do it here. 12 times a negative 20x, oh, or 12 again, times a negative 20, Sean, negative 20x, don't forget the multiplication here, over 5 times a 1. What does that simplify to be? Well, 20, I know 5 goes into it, right? Because 20 is 4 times 5. So let's re rewrite that. 12 times a negative 4 times a 5 times an x over 5 times a 1. The 5's cancel, numerator and denominator here, or denominator and numerator, and nothing else really cancels. We have 1 left in the denominator, and so we have a 12 times a negative 4 times an x over a positive 1. Now, let's keep multiplying that out. 12 times a negative 4. Remember, that's multiplication by a negative 4. 12 times a negative 4 is a negative 48. We have x left in the numerator, and we're dividing by 1. We don't need to write it. So we just have negative 48x right here, and that's our answer. When you take 12 fifths and you multiply it by a negative 20x, you get a negative 48x. I hope you learned something here on how to multiply a fraction. If you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.